A tornado itself is a violently rotating column of air that starts at the base of a cumulonimbus cloud, then stretches down and actually touches the ground. Now, sometimes these can actually start at the base of a cumulus cloud. It's a little rare, and uh, you'll hear us call those land spouts or cold air funnels. Usually a tornado will develop is you've got some sort of a lifting mechanism and some added spin in the atmosphere. You've got a very warm, moist air mass sliding into, say, a cold front or a warm front that is pulling that warm air north. On the back side of the front, you have much cooler, drier air filtering in. You start to develop an area of low pressure underneath the thunderstorm itself, and you got that added spin. And as the tornado starts to develop, the rapid updraft of that warm, moist air colliding with the sinking, cooler, drier air is where you start to get that rotation and the possibility of a tornado forming. The F scale was actually developed back in 1971 by Ted Fujita at the University of Chicago. He combined forces with the National Severe Storms Forecast Center, now known as the SPC, or the Storms Prediction Center, and Alan Pearson kind of collaborated with Ted to come up with a scale that uh, would rate tornadoes based on the type of damage that they produced as they slid across a particular area. Tornadoes can occur any time during the year, but they're more concentrated in the spring in particular and a secondary little peak in the fall. As the jet stream, the river of wind aloft, slides north in the spring, it pulls forth that warm, moist air from the south, keeps it in the central and upper plains for you know, the spring and summer seasons. As that jet stream is starting to pull that north into some cooler, or drier air, we start to see the battleground break out. So again, more concentrated in the spring months from March to May, and then again, a second peak in the fall, but they can occur any time of the year. Tornadoes can pop up pretty much anywhere in the nation, but there's an area that seems to have more of a concentration of tornadoes, and it's known as Tornado Alley. Basically stretches from southern Minnesota down to Texas, and especially as you work your way into parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, and North Texas, areas that see more tornadoes than anywhere else on Earth. There's also an area called Dixie Alley that encompasses parts of the southeast U.S. that tends to have another higher concentration of tornadoes. The tornadoes tend to develop as we've got the warm, moist air coming up and out of the Gulf of Mexico, the cooler, drier air coming down out of Canada or rushing out of the Rockies, and the combination of the air masses or the collision of the air masses in the central U.S. and Tornado Alley seems to be where we find the most tornadoes. During a tornado warning, First thing you want to do is find a safe place that does not include windows. Get to the lowest level of whatever building it is that you may be in. If it's a house that has a basement, move your way to the basement as quickly as possible and avoid windows. Put as many walls between you and that outside storm as you can. Say your house doesn't have a basement. Well, maybe on the first floor you have an interior room, a bunch of walls, it could be a closet, it could be a bathroom safe place to be. If you have a bathtub, climb into the bathtub, pull something over you to protect yourself from the potential falling debris.